Do your speaker cables matter? That's what we're here to find out today. We're gonna to do a very simple AB test against premium quality 12 gauge versus bare minimum 16 gauge. Equal lengths, 25 foot runs to both speakers. I'm gonna do several different songs. The only thing I may do if necessary is equalize the volume using REW measuring and then adjusting the receiver's volume to match because I do expect possibly a small volume drop on the small gauge because of wasted energy due to resistance. That's the only thing I'm expecting. I'm gonna do the songs, we'll do sections of the songs, and I'll alternate clips, and I'll tell you A versus B, and then you in the comments can tell me which one you think is which, if you even hear a difference. And at the end, I'll give you an example, if I did need to adjust the volume, what it sounds like. Let's go.
what's the bottom line? Is there a difference? Yes, there is a, I'll call it subtle, but noticeable difference. In the end, there was a 2.5 dB difference between the 16 and 12 gauge cables. Now, if you have a longer cable or an old oxidized cable or a smaller gauge cable, that gets progressively worse. And I did have a much worse right channel because the run that I was using was a 40 foot run that went through the attic and down both walls. So that was something more than even 2.5 dB. And yes, if you're curious, it did affect the final positioning of that speaker. Now it's playing relatively louder than it was before. So I need to spend some time repositioning that. Not a big deal now that I know how to do it. Can you hear a quality difference? Well, I'll say that during the tests, no, I couldn't hear anything, but I was spending quite a bit of time physically swapping the cables in between the tests. And, you know, your brain just can't remember those finite details. And I had the uh, REW and the U-Mic one using the generator and the SPL meter to set the exact volume levels the same. So there was about a 10 minute break in between the A and B tests. But during editing, when I could actually play them back and forth and I put together the clips and I was listening, especially with headphones on, I have a decent speaker system on the desk and I can hear the difference with those. You may absolutely need headphones to hear anything in this video though. Yes, I could definitely hear something going on. Again, it wasn't dramatic. Um, after normalizing for volume, I mean, that's a dead giveaway. I think between the A and the B, well, I'll let you guys decide and discuss in the comments what you hear, if anything, but I can hear something, I'll put it that way. Is it worth it to upgrade or change out your cables? I think so. I'm very glad I did it, let me put it that way. That's it. Hope this helps somebody. Stay tuned for more videos. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. And no, I won't be doing more listening tests or speaker tests or anything like that. I bought licenses for the songs here in the video and I'm gonna lose money on every, every video I put out with music. So this is glad to do it because I wanted to do it, but that's the last one. <laughs> see you next time.